Hey cuties, so in today's role playing video, my daughter was the school bully. How long do you think we have until class starts? I don't know, like a few minutes, why? I was trying to debate if I have long enough to run to my locker, get a snack and eat it before the teacher comes in. Um, I highly doubt it. How many times does she have to correct you for eating in class? Oh please, not being able to eat in class is such a dumb rule. Food is brain power. I think if everyone was allowed to eat while they learned, grades would actually improve. Wow, there's a final paper topic for you. Wait, we have a final paper due? Give me that thing. Hey! Uh, what just happened? Hey, wait, give that back. Ashley, give it back. Not a chance, loser. Ahem, attention, attention, fellow students. Can I have your attention, please? I have a little something that I would like to share with the class. Please, Ashley, don't do this. Quiet, freak. Ahem. Okay, everyone, I hold in my hand a very prized possession that I guarantee will bring humor to all of you. Mackenzie's cell phone. Ashley, just give it back. Ahem. Where should we start? With her pictures or texts? Let's see, let's see. How about we start with some of the texts she sent to her best friend, Sky? Ooh, I bet those will be nice and juicy. Oh, God. Okay, here's a good one. This one is from the other day. And oh, even better, this text is about someone in this very class. Josh, would you please stand up? Oh, me? All right, this text reads, Oh, my God, girly, did you see what Josh is wearing today? He looks so cute and dreamy. And did you see how his butt looks? this couple. The real question is where I keep my last name or Josh's? And okay, this text goes on for quite a bit. <laughs> That's hilarious, Ashley! No! <laughs> Mackenzie, wait! Oh no, I hope it wasn't something I said. Meanwhile... And then called me a four-eyed freak. 
Zoe, is that true? Oh, you little tattletale. I'm really gonna get you now. Hey, that's quite enough. Both of you in my office. But... Now. A few moments later. What was that out there? I thought you two were supposed to be friends. Friends with her? I think not. Well, I'll tell you what, Zoe. I am very disappointed in your behavior. You are to treat your fellow students with respect, and bullying is never the answer. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to call both of your moms. You do know that they were students here when they were your age. Go ahead and call her. My mom will never believe that I could have done something wrong. We'll see about that. Meanwhile... Hello, this is the principal at your daughter's school. I am calling to tell you that I have Zoe in my office right now. Oh no, did something happen to my perfect little Zoe? No, she's fine. If you could just come down to my office as well, please. I'm on my way. A few moments later. What happened? What's going on here, Zoe? Is everything okay? I'm fine, Mom. I'm just confused why my daughter is standing with the principal because she's like the nicest kid ever. <gasps> Has she won a prize? No, I'm afraid not. Whoever my daughter cry is messing with the wrong mom. Ashley? Mackenzie, is your little brat the one who's been tormenting Ava? Excuse me, a brat? Oh, that's rich, considering how you treated me in middle school. Oh, I remember you too. Ashley, if I recall, you used to bully Mackenzie. Wait, what? Well, I'm afraid things have come full circle because we've had multiple instances of Zoe bullying Ava and making her cry. The latest instance was Zoe making Ava drop her books on the ground and then stealing her glasses. Wait, what? No, there's no way. My daughter would never be a bully. I promise that. I promise that I would never let my daughter be a bully. Nice going. Well, this is awkward. Okay, okay, everyone, just calm down. Because of this, shall I say, rather unusual circumstance that I, in my 40 years of being principal of Brookhaven Middle School, have never seen in my life, I think that given your kind of weird history, the four of you need to work this out on your own. Are you kidding? Work together with her? I will not. Oh, here we go again. She tormented me all throughout middle school. And her daughter is tormenting me. I said, work it out on your own. Later that same evening. Hey, uh, Mom, are you mad at me? I wouldn't say I'm mad, Zoe, but I am disappointed. What do you mean? Do you know that I was bullied when I was a kid? By Ava's mom. Yeah, you said so today. Well, it was really traumatic. She was horrible to me, Zoe. She would trip me in school, too. She made me cry. She'd steal my phone and read my private text messages in front of the entire class. Wow, that's awful. Yeah, it really was awful. And what you're doing to Ava is also awful. Bullying is wrong, and you truly don't know how it feels until someone does it to you. And someone did it to me, so I know how small and insignificant it can make you feel. I never meant to make Ava feel small and insignificant. It's just, I don't know, kind of fun to tease her? Well, it's not fun to her, and it wasn't fun to me. The only thing you're doing when you tease her is making yourself small. What do you mean? I didn't raise you to be a bully. I didn't raise raise a mean daughter. Bullies are just people who are sad and lonely in their own lives. So then they just take it out on other people. But honey, you are not one of those people and you should never ever be one of those people. I did not raise you to be that way. I know, mom. Then why do you do that to Ava? I don't really know. Well, you better think about it, kiddo, because tomorrow we're meeting Ava and Ashley and we're going to work this whole thing out. And knowing Ashley, it won't end until one of us is in tears. So you better rest up. The next day... You might have more in common than you think. Okay, I guess so. I'm in, I guess. Uh, just stay seated there. I do not want your cooties. Really, Ashley? We're not 13 anymore. Okay, I know we didn't like to talk to each other as kids, but we're kind of forced to right now. I do not have anything to say to you. Your little monster is bullying my angel, and for what? Since Ava is a little different because she has glasses and braces, is maybe a little nerdy? That does not give anyone the right to bully her, especially Zoe, just because she thinks she's so popular. Ah, uh, Ashley, is any of this ringing a bell to you? No, why? Maybe because it's exactly what you used to do to me. You bullied me for 
for being nerdy and different. He bullied me for the clothes I wore, the music I liked, the way I did my hair, like everything. You may not remember it to be like that, but at least I can tell my daughter that it's wrong to bully. Because I know exactly how Ava feels. Wow, I really did all that? Yeah, you did. So I know exactly what Ava is going through. And I had a long talk with Zoe about it last night. I never want my daughter to grow up and be like you. Wow, thanks. Okay, I didn't mean it like that, but you know what I'm saying. I'm sorry that Zoe bullied Ava. It's wrong, but it's also no different from what you did to me, which was also wrong. I guess I never thought about it that way. Thank you for telling Zoe that it was wrong. Of course. And in case I never said it, I'm really sorry I bullied you when we were kids. Wow, thanks Ashley, that means a lot. <laughs> Jeez, what are you two laughing at? Yeah, did you work out your issue? 